<laughs> hey, Chris. Just wanted to see how the studying's going. You guys, I've been at this all night, and I haven't learned a thing. There's no way I'm gonna pass Mr. Harpington's history test. Oh, come on, Chris. I'm sure that's just the nerves talking. Here, I'll quiz you. Who said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Scooby-Doo? No. Shaggy? It's nobody on Scooby-Doo. Wow, Chris, you, uh, you really don't know history. I know. And if I fail ninth grade, I won't amount to anything. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. You have a beautiful child, Mrs. Roberts. Yeah, look at all this luxury. It's like being in a gay guy's dream. Enjoying the view? It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. This has been the gayest vacation I've ever had. I love smelling me on your breath. First stop, Washington, D.C. The year is 1803. Ah, the future. Don't go in there. It's not safe. Well done, Peter. Now, Chris, this is Brazil before the invention of the soccer ball. Australia before the shark tooth necklace. And Italy before pasta. Hey! Oh! Foul sound! They were always a ridiculous people. I think this sucks. I want to go back to Quahog. Tomorrow at James Woods High, it's scoliosis spine check day. It's the one day a year I get touched. Meg, your father got this great new opportunity, and we need to support him. Let's give DC a chance, huh? Stewie, can you believe Brian built this? Wait, what? Oh, hey, come on, guys. <laughs> Who built what is not a question on the history final, right? <laughs> Good point, Brian. That's why victory is always Brian's. You dick. How much of my stuff have you taken credit for? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you're now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. Folks, to drink this evening, we've got red wine, white wine, and a fifth of bourbon. What'll you have, disgraced political oddity Roger Stone? I'll take the fifth. <laughs> that works on two levels. Layered. You look really handsome today, Chris. Thanks, Amanda. Hey, Chris, say it. I use Stuart Griffin Facial Cleanser. Try some. Give her the website. StewieGriffinFacial.com. No, 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 that, that, that's something else. It's StewieGriffinFacialCleanser.com. Daddy, we're here to have brunch with the Barringtons. The Barringtons? How is that possible? That family is the pinnacle of high society. They, they haven't worked in eight generations. All the kids have drug problems. Most of them have OD'd. That's terrible. Well, not all kids make it, Lois. Just ask the Sugar Smacks frog. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've lost two more. What should we do about the graves? Dig them. All right, Chris. It's 1798, and we're in the home of Jane Austen. Jane Austen? I don't think she's on my history test, do we? Oh, I know. We're just here to release pent-up time travel farts. Awesome! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me some of that. Mmm, the insides of men. This is what fuels me. Here we are, Christmas night, 1776. The father of our nation, George Washington, is about to boldly cross the Delaware. What's on his arms? Those are water wings. He was terrified of the water. Easy. Last night at the White House, President Trump touched me inappropriately. You expect us to believe that the President of the United States would grab a woman by her That's ridiculous! ...products and your fraudulent university and... Oh my god! Oh please, every president since Washington has done this. Hey, listen, Mr. Barrington, your, your granddaughter ain't no tease, right? Because Chris really wants to get in there. Oh, you're a funny guy, Griffin. I like that. Oh, well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You, what? Why? I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean, they all look the same? Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry cleaners. It's a dance club. It is. 
Well, that explains a lot. Oh, this is my jam! Mr. President, please. I'm not interested. You'll regret this. Oh, my God! What would your third wife, the softcore girl-on-girl porn lady, think about this? Or the actual porn star your lawyer paid hush money to? I quit. What? That's right. And you know what else? My days of being mean and insulting are over. Okay, time for some recent history. This is the 1990s. This is the entire 1990s? Yes. Hey, there's all my favorite people. Oh, no, not this suck up. Ah, what are we talking about? Black people? Mexicans? Jews? <laughs> so good to see you, Barrington. Ivanka Trump has a gentle breeze indoors. Sometimes I wish I could meet someone else whose dad is a fat idiot who once had a hit television show and who over time has worn out his welcome. Meg, I think you'd look amazing in my brand of lifestyle products that are designed to represent a poor person's idea of what a rich person would wear. You know, Meg's dad is all... Shut up, Tiffany. Yeah, shut up, Tiffany. Chris, can you hear me? Huh? You're dreaming. Dreaming? Yay, no consequences! Ah! So lifelike! <sighs> all right, let's go back six minutes and try this again. Chris, you're dreaming with consequences. What? That's right. We're going to take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. You are? Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm going to need to see those forms. I'm sorry, can you hang on a sec? Got to close this window. Melania's out there blowing bubbles for Eric. Tremendous! Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I got one in my mouth. It tastes like so. Hey, Brian. Meg's Benedict. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, God. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh, Stop. I'm sorry man. I even said it. I'm so It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I'm sorry I said it. Put Meg's bra in your mouth. Oh my god, that's so disturbing! I know, gross! Yeah, and my hearing's a lot better, so I hear, like, suction and stuff. Peter, you sound like an old fart. I thought you liked having a hot young wife. Yeah, well, I did at first, but the novelty's worn off. The same thing happened with that blog I started on 9-11. This is the most strangest place ever. Yee ha! Oh, this ain't so different. You are cash poor. Peter, catch! Kill him in front of me and I sex you. <laughs> So damn divided, America. Peter! Grab my hand! I can't! It's too little! Hey, call me if you ever need help moving. Trudeau, away! I am a proud hat owner. Shut up, Meg. From our family to yours, we're very frightened. <laughs>